Hello and welcome to the brand new module Terror Test. In the last module, we got started with uh, Chef Inspec. Uh, we understood the fundamentals of Inspec and we then got started with very basic example of uh, testing our resources on Azure. We then moved on to testing a, a more advanced testing in a more advanced way, running test uh, for storage account containers, and we uh, saw that how you can use conditionals, and uh, we then automated the entire process using uh, instead of hard coding the variables manually, we picked the variables from the um, from the output of the Terraform uh, and did all the automation for the testing. That's going to be a similar video, a similar module with TerraTest as well. TerraTest uh, just uh, to get you started with TerraTest is um, is a bunch of libraries uh, open sourced uh, released by a company called Gruntwork. It's a DevOps or infrastructure company which uh, helps you get started with uh, automation of your infrastructure and they have uh, built uh, a ter TerraTest on top of uh, uh, Gol Golang and that's what we're going to understand as the name suggests it's uh, pretty much uh, pretty much works uh, compatible with uh, Terraform and that that's how the name uh, motivation behind the name as well so TerraTest is a Go library that uh, makes it easier to write automated test uh, uh, for your infrastructure uh, it provides very various uh, helper functions and patterns for common infrastructure testing task, uh, and that works with uh, obviously the 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 motivation behind TerraTest was uh, uh, to have uh, seamless compatibility with Terraform, but it works with uh, the majority of the providers like the Docker, Kubernetes. Uh, likes of AWS, Azure, GCP. This uh, module of this demo is going to be specifically for Azure. Um, we're going to spin up a bunch of resources. We're going to start with the Hello World program. And then we're going to uh, get started with the uh, virtual machines and resource group in Azure. It was developed uh, the the, the tools, so, uh, the tool or rather bunch of libraries uh, known as TerraTest developed by a company called Grantwork to maintain the infrastructure as a code library which contains over uh, 30,000 lines of code were written in uh, more than 30,000 lines of code written in Terraform, Go, Python and Bash and used in production by hundreds of company. Just to give you uh, a background of the company, this is how uh, the the site looks like there test by Gruntwork and you can get started in pretty easy steps uh, so one of the major requirement is you need to understand and know a bit about a programming language and specifically Golang so if you're somebody who has worked on Golang that's uh, going to be really easy to get started with so it supports Terraform it supports Packer uh, supports Docker as well uh, then you've got Kubernetes AWS in this example it, it is testing bunch of uh, um, uh, a hello world uh, uh, kind of program and then it has got for Azure and Google Cloud as well wherein now it is testing a uh, project and it has got multiple resources like Azure and uh, over here it is testing the virtual machine size and then we've got more of the examples in GitHub so you can you can go through all of them if and pick up the ones needed for your requirement Coming back to the presentation, um, uh, reasons to consider TerraTest. One of the reason is uh, majority of the libraries are open source. Um, so it's uh, easy to get started if you're already building infrastructure with Terraform because uh, it has got first class support with Terraform and it is built on top of Golang. So if you're somebody who is interested in Golang or uh, kind of worked on Golang a bit, then probably it would be easier to get started with. Maj supports majority of the cloud like AWS, GCP, Azure are now obviously the containerized platform like do Docker and the orchestration of Docker uh, uh, Kubernetes also being supported. Most of the libraries are open source. So probably easier to find and get the community help. So if you see on the right hand side, it's a pretty basic example of a hello world program. So the first uh, first step is to define where your directory where your Terraform uh, files or folder are and the second part is where you define the init and apply that's what is over here so it's it needs to initialize and apply uh, or plan so that it can understand where the output is and what's going to be the output and then you define the output as a variable and you define which uh, parameters from the variable to be picked up from and then an assert statement in the last uh, 
which uh, which checks if the the statement is true or not uh, uh, not and at the end it cleans up the code by running a terraform uh, destroy prerequisites uh, so obviously an azure account because our infrastructure is built on azure for the demo so we would like you to have an azure account a trial would do golang setup so you make sure that a golang uh, uh, is installed on your local system and you've got your id set up as well a basic knowledge about golang would be needed um, needless to not say that golang is not the easiest to the language to learn so so bit of language would bit of uh, understanding about the language would help we would also need terraform uh, a greater version of 0.11 because majority of the features are the code we write uh, supports uh, version more than 0.11 my personal feedback i've been using teratest uh, i've used in multiple projects and i've used uh, chef and spec as well um, so if you're coming from a system engineering background uh, where you've done done not done much of coding or development chef and spec is for you but if you're uh, somebody who is uh, very keen towards learning a new language uh, specifically golang so uh, teratest is for you and uh, uh, keeping keeping in mind that majority of the cutting edge uh, new new uh, edge infrastructure tools like Terraform, Golang, uh, Kubernetes, doc, everything is built on top of Go. So so uh, understanding and learning Golang uh, with the help of Teratas always makes the life of an infrastructure engineer easy. So without further ado, we're gonna get started in the next video with the demo of uh, 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 of Azure infrastructure testing using Teratest. It's gonna be pretty in line with what we did in uh, the Chef Inspect also, so that uh, you're gonna have a bit of comparison, apples to apples, not apples to apples, but yeah, a decent comparison where you can choose the tools of the trade and uh, basis on your expertise, basis on the skill set you have within the team. So in the next video, we're gonna get started with the Hello World program in Teratest for infrastructure automation testing. Thank you.